congratulations. We know that South Africa is looking up to you. Please keep doing the good work. And I love them. Thank you for their support, you know. Yes. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am. Now, we'd like to know, what wisdom would you like to pass on to the future generation? It's a very complicated industry. It needs at least them. They have an opportunity yes. to go to school and study so that when they come into this industry, they are able to read their contracts, read it line by line, word by word, and understand what is this contract saying. They can't even speak speak the truth, they can't say anything and express themselves about the difficulties they, 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 they find themselves in this industry. The best thing, the best achievement any artist could get is to say your truth. Where do you see us going as South Africa in the gospel industry? We're growing bigger and bigger. You know, I remember, uh, I remember 1987, gospel was not this big. Yeah. The only people that you know in gospel, it was Rebecca Malope. And when you talk traditional gospel, you're talking Rebecca Malope. Yeah. And gospel was not like respected in that way, whereby even record labels yeah. didn't really understand gospel. It's not, no, no, not gospel. Gospel people won't even listen to this. You need to go back and do quiet music. That's why we recorded yeah. the quiet stuff as yeah. well. Yeah. But today, it is the leading genre of music, not only in South Africa, but all over the world.